Okay, so let's have a look at the Ford adjustment for growing limited manufacturing accounts. So this one is saying that it was discovered that finished goods had been sent to a consumer on the 31st of 12, 2015. So if we send something to a consumer, it means it's sales. So be careful that sometimes that can be received or that can be sent. If it's sent, it's going to, you're going to adjust your sales, you're going to adjust your debtors, and you're going to adjust your closing stock. If it's received, you're going to adjust your purchases, you're going to adjust your creditors, and you're going to adjust your closing stock by the cost amount. But because this has been sent it means your sales are going to decrease by how much the invoice was for because you didn't make those sales because they can be returned that means that your debtors are going to decrease by the invoice amount because they don't owe us that money and then your closing stock is going to increase by the cost amount um, because we haven't sold those goods so they're, they're still going to be on our books so with this one here, then sale or return, the goods have been entered in the books as a credit sale of 15,000. So that's how much you're going to reduce your sales by and reduce your debtors by, which is a markup cost of 20%. So it means we have to find out what is 100%. So this 15,000 is 120%. So we have to find out what is 100% and increase our closing stock by that figure because we haven't sold these goods because they can be returned to us. So four steps anytime you get sale or return. So calculate the cost of the goods on sale return, so that's finding the 100%. Sales are going to decrease by the total amount that was sent to the consumer, as these are not sales. Debt was then decreased by the total amount sent to the consumer, as we've not sold these goods and credits, so they don't owe us the money. And then closing stock increased by the cost amount, as we've not sold the stock. So the first thing we have to do is find out what is 100%. So 120% is equal to 15,000. 1% then is equal to 15,000, divide that by 120. So then 100% then is equal to 125, multiply that by 100. So 125 multiplied by 100, that's going to give us 12,500. So that's how much your closing stock is going to increase by. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to do a working for our sales. So the amount is going to come straight from the question. So we find what our sales figure is. And our sales figure here is 1,352,000. So the invoice that was sold or the, the cash sales that we had is 15,000 a question. So we need to reduce our sales by 15,000. So that's going to give 1,337,000. That's going to go into our trading account. Then we need to do the same then for our debtors. So we need to reduce our debtors. So you go and look at our debtors in the question. So our debtors here is always going to be on the left hand side. That's your debit column. This is your credit column. So that's going to be 52,000. So because these are treated as a credit sales, we haven't given them a credit sale of 15,000. That means that the debtors don't owe us this 15,000. So we need to reduce our debtors by 15,000. So that's going to give us a new figure of 37,000. And then we also need to adjust our closing stock. So we've calculated already that our closing stock should be 12,500. So we're going to go back up to our working one. So we've got an amount already for our finished goods, which is 77,600. We need to adjust that for our sales because we didn't sell these goods so sale or return which is 12,500 and you're going to add these two together to get a new figure for a closing stock which is 90,100 and then that 90,100 then is going to go into our trading account and it's also going to go into our balance sheet in your current assets so that's your adjustment done for sale or return. So we need to calculate what is our cost to increase our closing stock because we didn't sell these goods. Then we need to adjust our sales by the figure in the question to reduce it. And then we need to reduce our debtors by the figure in the question. And that is working for done for Ryan Limited manufacturing accounts.